Hi everyone. Uh, I hope everyone are awake and with me. So uh, my name is Omer Gernot. I'm the CEO for Localize OS, and uh, my plan for today is to uh, talk for two minutes about what we do. So you have some context into who I am and what we do and why you should listen in. But really not to focus too much on our solution. Um, not because it's not good, it's great, it's the best. Uh, if you haven't talked to us, you should go and talk to the, the team in the booth. Uh, but really to use this time uh, as an education and hopefully to answer questions that, that I'm sure all of you have. Uh, okay, so, so what do we do? Uh, Localize OS is a system, it's a platform that we license to our partner agents, brokers, and team leads. And it helps you uh, excel at scale, right? If you think about a team, an agent, uh, you're in the relationship business, but unfortunately, we are all in an industry that suffers from this economies of scale. Because it's huge, because we need to do a lot of things with a lot of people, it is very, very hard to be very, very good at what you do at scale, right? To build up, to grow. And that's what we do, right? So if you're an agent, if you're a team, you have a thousand people, five thousand people, you know, ten thousand people that you've acquired over time that could potentially be people that transact with you. And you wake up in the morning and you ask, okay, how many of those do I meaningfully engage every day? The answer is probably very small because it is very hard, right? And so we provide you with the system that you can plug in your database and over uh, SMS mostly our system will engage each and every one of those buyers in a personalized way. We will ask them questions, uh, we will measure how they engage, we will send recommendations, we will profile, qualify, smart recommend these things. We will nurture them until they get to a point where they're ready for a human agent for you, and then we will give them back to you, we'll create a group chat, we'll say, here's everything we learned, here's Joe, they want to go see this place, you know, take it from here. That's kind of what we do in a nutshell. Um, so, okay, so, so switching gears, um, what I really wanted to talk about is uh, try and make sense of, uh, and some people talked about it before uh, I came on stage, so I apologize if I repeat, but try and break down AI, types of AI, uh, specifically for real estate, how it plays out, why you should care, and how to adopt, right? So, uh, first topic is kind of uh, the playbook, right? So there's a lot of things uh, in AI today, lots of technologies, chat GPT, everyone, when you say uh, AI, uh, and every company, I think, today, yesterday, uh, in the last 12 months, have AI in their name and say they do AI. Um, but the reality is that AI is not new, right? If you think about AI technologies, they include the ability to do data analytics, to uh, deduct insights, right, to measure things, things that used to take a lot of time for you as humans, uh, but now you can automate them. What really exploded over the last 12 months is the ability to take those things and then also transition uh, to technology doing something, not just saying, okay, this is what we've learned, this is what we deduct from the data, this is what we, you know, analyze from this 10,000, uh, you know, lines Excel sheet. Uh, if you were the human, what would you do? And now the systems are able to do it for you, right? That's Gen AI. The ability to not just deduct, analyze, uh, measure, but actually recommend the next steps and then take it practically, right? So technologies today are moving from, it's an evolutionary step from being uh, reactive technologies that measure, track, analyze, and tell you, okay, this is what we've learned, to technologies that are proactive, that can actually replace much of what you do, uh, much of the work that you do. Specifically in real estate, uh, there's a lot of solutions. Uh, Sean talked about some before, and, and again, um, uh, the lady before talked about the, the conversation on AI. If you think about it today, lots of a lot of what an agent, a team lead, uh, or brokerage does today can be amplified with AI, right? The ability to look at images of a listing and extract features, right? The ability to say, okay, here's an image, whether or not the agent uploaded, updated all the features, we can identify that there is a fireplace, we can identify that there is hardwood floors, we can identify that there is a view, uh, and so forth. The ability to measure through machine learning how people engage with those listings, right? What listings uh, people care about. Do they spend more time looking at images of the kitchen or the bathroom or the living room, right? And so when you send them the next recommendation, what kind of picture would you highlight, right? What do you, would you put in front to increase the chances that they would actually engage? Uh, when someone doesn't engage, what do you do? 
do you ask another question? Do you ask it differently? Do you send another recommendation? Do you send the recommendation that you think is the best? Or do you start with number three to sort of build up to number one? Every person is different. Uh, AI now has the ability to actually measure and test uh, and optimize on a personalized level, right? So we have 10,000 people. There's no way in hell that you can do it individually for each and every one of those 10,000. Solutions today can do it, right? They can look at each and every one of your potential uh, people that you want to transact with and build a flow that is dedicated for them specifically, uh, which is exciting. Um, a lot of the people before me talked about AI and tried to break down to the building blocks, right? There is conversational, there is data analytics, there is all those things. The reality is that I don't think you should care. Uh, so to be completely blunt, I think AI is a building block, um, similar to how your touch screen on your phone work. Uh, it's cool, it's great, you don't no longer need this pen to control your phone, but no one cares how it works, right? It's plugged in, uh, it's connected to, to Wi-Fi, to the internet, uh, it pulls the data, you can use it with your finger, it's great. Uh, no one cares how it's built, you know, what powers it, what kind of technology. I think AI is getting to that stage today where this is really the question that you need to ask yourself. Not how do I leverage ChatGPT, you know, how do I write better prompts, how do I... Uh, no, forget about all of those things. It's nice if you want to spend time uh, you know, as, a, as a hobby. But really what you should ask yourselves is what is my main problem and what kind of solution already answers that problem, right? So if you're an agent, if I had to guess, your key challenge is that you have way too many people in your database and you meaningfully engage very few of those, right? The number I think is below 1%, mind blowing, right? Like I don't know any other industry where you, uh, you spend most of your money buying potential people to, to engage with, and then you lose 99% of them, and everyone are okay with it. You're fine. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I, I will settle for the 1%. Mind-blowing to me. Uh, so if that's your problem, you should uh, choose solutions that help you engage at scale, right? Us as an example. Uh, if you're a team lead, then your challenges are different. You need analytics. You need reporting. You need to know how your agents are doing. You need to know who needs help and who is actually working and where, where are they uh, struggling. If you're a brokerage, you need to make sure your marketing dollars are spent efficiently, right? You need to know, okay, I have all these agents, um, they have pipelines, but like, how does that work, right? How do I help them succeed? How do I build an infrastructure to help them succeed? And I think, you know, great brokerages today start to invest in infrastructure for their teams. Um, so that's kind of the questions. To put a line on it, like, forget about the cool technologies of, like, how you actually do it on your own. Choose solutions, and there are many solutions like Sean's, like you know everyone who's been in this conference before. Choose a solution that actually solves your problem. They are very easy to integrate today. There is no adoption. Uh, it's often as easy as like literally five minutes of setup, plugging in your database, and technology works for you, right? So make sure you 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 do that and spend the time on, on figuring out what exists versus uh, versus building it on your own, which is cool. Um, One last thing I want to say before I, again, I want to leave time for a question. I think that's usually the interesting stuff, but um, everyone talked about AI, and I think the reality is that humans are not going anywhere. Uh, you know, if someone told you otherwise, uh, I would take the risk of making a prediction. They are wrong. People are here to stay. Agents are here to stay. Uh, no one's going anywhere. However, I do think that if you are a human, an agent in this industry, and you are not leveraging technology within the next 12 to 24 months, you would be left behind, right? It's just technology today amplifies you and allows you to achieve things that you just are humanly impossible to achieve without technology. It's happened in any other industry and it will happen in real estate as well. And so um, the question shouldn't be, uh, is technology, like is AI real, like are humans going to disappear? No, it's, it's how do I become one of the first you know, top 15 to 20 percent of um, of professionals that actually leverage technology, at, you know, as aggressively as possible. And I wouldn't linger, right? I think a year from now it will be already too late because everyone will use uh, technology, everyone will use these proactive technologies, and and if you only start a year from now, then you're already behind, you're already lagging. And so now is the time to really do your research, test, 
uh, you know, dip your feet in the water, talk to all these great solutions here and, and generally in our industry, and give it a try. And you will very quickly see the, the real solutions from other. You will really quickly understand who provides value, who solves your problem, versus who is you know, posted AI on their name, but, but really uh, is not uh, cool technology. So that's it. Um, I hope that was interesting. Again, I, I think you've kind of heard all of it. Key points to, to keep in mind, technology is here, it's great. Choose proactive technologies, choose them today, um, and don't try to invent it on your own because it's, it's tough and that's not what uh, we are great at uh, as an industry. So uh, so jump into to what everyone else are doing. Uh, any questions? What is the way that you connect um, the website, our CRM that we are using right now? I'm a single agent. Like, in what way you connect all of this data? Great. So I, I think in the answers I, I will talk about what we do, just because that's uh, it's easier for me to give an example of how it can be done. But there are other ways to do it, right? So again, I'm not trying to sell impressively our solution, but uh, even though it's the best. So um, the question was, how do you integrate into existing systems, CRMs, websites, all those things? Again, I think excellent solutions today uh, play nicely with others, right? So if you take us as an example, we don't really care how you acquired that lead. Eventually, it flows into a system. It could be your email, it could be your CRM, it could be a database on your website. We specifically plug into all of those, and so we allow you to very quickly basically plug in, and then every lead that comes in flows into one uh, centralized repository, like a database, a portal that you can log into. And then you see all of these channels uh, organized, combined, across the funnel, uh, and the system engages with all of them, right? So again, if, if, if you have a solution, or if you're considering a solution that says, you need to drop all of these systems that you're using, and you need to replace all of it, and it's usually a huge challenge for you to adopt it. And so again, I think there are great solutions today that, that just play nicely, they plug in, uh, they allow you to keep whatever tech stack you already have, and you can just leverage on top of it something that plays nice with all of those things. Hi, so for the localized program, do you guys offer like in different languages? Like for example, you guys, uh, you know, whenever uh, interact with a client, um, do you guys offer different languages for different, you know, international clients? Yeah, so it's um, it's a good question. So uh, it sort of reminds me of another point. I think even us, uh, that I think we're, again one of the more advanced solutions in, in conversational engines and in, in sort of nurturing. Uh, we don't build all of it on our own, right? So we plug, we leverage OpenAI's ChatGPT. We build some on our own, uh, mostly the logic, the enrichment, right? So like, okay, you can have a conversation today using OpenAI's ChatGPT, but it's kind of table stakes. But the question is, what do you actually say? How do you interpret what people respond? We, because we rely on, on these tools, most of our services are now in English, so we don't support other languages. I am confident, though, that within the next 12 months, uh, the, the technology will continue to improve and you will have additional uh, languages uh, as you grow. Yeah. Hi, thank you so much for your presentation today. Um, I think we've heard a lot about what AI can do, about how to engage with it. Uh, if there are a lot of brokers in the room, what are maybe the first three action items a brokerage could take to better integrate and artificial intelligence into what they do, what they're going to accomplish. So I think the first question is really asking yourselves, what is your biggest challenge, right? Instead of saying, oh, you know, there's this great technology, I have to use it somehow. Uh, try and figure out what is actually your challenge in the business and, and what would move the needle for you. Uh, and, and then go and try and find solutions that, that answer this question. Uh, if your biggest challenge is uh, hiring agents and growing, which is, again, a challenge for everyone, I think. Uh, you should definitely follow up with Sean. I think their product is great um, and obviously works very well. Um, so that's first, right? Identify your real challenge. And then two is uh, don't be afraid to try it out. Uh, I think there's a lot of concern or um, 
fear in advance that this would be complicated, my agents wouldn't adopt it, it would cost a lot of money, I don't know if it will work, it's like I'm going to lose touch of, of my contacts, it's not going to be personalized. Uh, that is just incorrect, all those things. It's easy to integrate. Um, last week we had a buyer uh, invite our AI to their housewarming party because they thought it was a human and they bought a place to us and they, was very, they were very excited. And so I think technology now is great. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't get tired. It doesn't give up. It feels extremely human. You know, we and I think most great solutions have humans in the loop, and so it's not fully, tech, you know, you don't fully let go of control to a human. There is a human controlling the system. Um, again, solutions are great. So identify your challenge, your problem, what would move the needle. Uh, do some research to find great solutions, and then don't be afraid to give them a try for, you know, six months and see how that changes your business. Uh, it, I guarantee to you that if you do this process, uh, you would you would take the lead and you would you would open up a gap with anyone who's not doing that at this point. Okay. All right. Well, Omar, I want to thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Awkward handshake. Microphone hand.